Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a video to kind of give an update on my, my health. Uh, as a lot of you know, I've been um, struggling with some serious health issues for about a year now. Uh, I've been to neurologists and hematologists and urologists and um, internal medicine specialists and, you know, a bunch of other people. But uh, I think we're finally getting closer to not only finding a proper diagnosis, but actually finding um, a solution. So I was formally diagnosed with um, myalgic encephalomyelitis, um, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, earlier this year. Actually, no, maybe it was late last year, late 2018. It's now August 2019 that I'm making this video. Um, but I've been on disability from work since uh, February because the... Um, the fatigue and the other issues have gotten so severe. To be clear, chronic fatigue syndrome is not just being tired. Um, it's, I've had, um, I get muscle pains. I get something called um, uh, post-exertional malaise. So anytime I do anything that requires, you know, physical or mental exertion, it'll wipe me out for, um, you know, for days sometimes. So I, just making this video, um, I probably won't be able to get out of bed for the rest of the day, uh, and tomorrow I'll probably be in bed all day. Um, I usually only get out of the house, you know, a couple of times a week, and that's to go to doctor's appointments. Um, I uh, On Monday, I went to um, an open house for my daughter, because she's going into first grade. Um, but uh, usually when we leave the house, uh, my wife has to push me around in a wheelchair, um, I use a, a cane just for, for getting around the house. I have severe light and sound sensitivity issues and usually in the house I have to wear um, sunglasses even. I'm trying to just muscle through it for this video. Um, but long story short, um, I've had um, some MRIs and a CT scan recently and they uh, appear to show something called uh, idiopathic intracranial hypertension. And basically what that is, is I've got um, too much cerebrospinal, flu cerebrospinal fluid pressure um, pumping into my, my brain. And so my brain just constantly feels like it's being squished. I wake up every morning with a pressure headache. Nothing takes it away. And I just, I have had a headache all day, every day for the past year. Um, I get muscle spasms. Sometimes it'll be in my eye area, sometimes my arm, sometimes my leg, but it'll just, it'll just twitch for, you know, 20 minutes. And then the next part will twitch for, uh, you know, an hour. Um, but, uh, I also suffer from vertigo, feeling like the room is spinning, um, tinnitus where I get ringing in my ear. Sometimes it's really loud. Sometimes it's pulsatile, which means that I can hear my heartbeat, uh, in my ear. Um, sometimes I can feel my heart beating in my gums, which is really weird, um, but it's all uh, apparently neurological um, And it's because of this excess pressure happening in my in my brain because of the cerebrospinal fluid There are surgical options um, One thing they do is uh, they put shunts in there to drain it or they'll do lumbar punctures and that will drain uh, fluid out and they have to do those regularly, but uh, it turns out that um, about 90% of cases with intracranial hypertension, um, it occurs in, in obese people. And, uh, you know, if you know me or have followed me at all on, on Facebook or wherever, or in real life, I guess, um, you know that I have weight cycled quite a bit in my life. I've had, um, you know, at least four times in my adult life where I've lost, you know, 80 to 120 pounds but then I gain all the weight back and then some. So most recently, 2014, 2015, I lost about 120 pounds. And then it all started coming back in 2016, 2017. And then in 2018 is when I well, when I got sick. Um, if um, you're Facebook friends with me, you probably saw my rant uh, a couple of years ago about weight loss. Uh, and this was as my weight was all coming back on and just sort of the, the futility of it. And I kind of stand by everything I said in terms of losing weight just through diet and exercise that it's just, it's not sustainable. Um, and all of the literature on 
um, intracranial hypertension uh, indicates that weight loss through diet and exercise alone aren't going to solve the problem because um, nobody can keep the weight off through you know through lifestyle changes. Um, and so bariatric surgery really is the only option. And so I actually met with um, a surgeon um, last week. I've got some appointments this coming week um, with a psychiatrist and a nutritionist and, a, and an exercise therapist. So there's some hoops I have to jump through. Um, but uh, it's looking like I'll probably end up getting bariatric surgery. Uh, I'm going to do a gastric bypass uh, in um, probably late October, maybe early November. And the medical literature suggests that the idiopathic intracranial hypertension should resolve within about four months of my surgery. So if I get it in November, hopefully by March, I'll be feeling better, um, which would be great because my disability runs out in April. So uh, fingers crossed that that works out. Um, I've been really lucky so far. My insurance has been fantastic. Um, I've, I've been on, um, you know, I've, I've been taken care of uh, uh, from a university and um, my insurance in terms of, uh, you know, getting my paychecks and all that. So um, I've been very, very, very blessed in that regard. Um, but anyways, I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in uh, on what's been going on. I feel optimistic for the first time uh, throughout this whole journey. Um, I, I haven't really been uh, depressed because I, I have this brain fog and I'm just pretty much in a kind of a stupor most of the time. And I just, my emotions have been super, super flat. Um, but, um, but for the first time, I actually feel genuinely optimistic that, that, this solution will work and if nothing else um, I lose the weight and if I still have the idiopathic intracranial hypertension then the shunting or the lumbar punctures will actually be more effective um, because they tend to be less effective on obese people um, and so I'm hoping to lose enough weight to either get rid of the IIH on my own or to at least be in a position where I can I can get the surgeries that I need to to resolve the issues. Um, well anyways, that's about all I've got the energy to talk about right now. I'm probably going to sleep for two hours after this and then just lay in bed the rest of the day. But um, but again, I just want to leave on the optimistic note that, that things are, are looking up and I'm, I'm optimistic. Um, thanks for watching and I'll probably post another update video in coming weeks.